In this week's homework, I'd like you to get familiar with the UTM zones and state plane coordinates in Minnesota. So I've loaded up a data set here. It's this spreadsheet MN Proj homework at XLS. Um, X. It has the eight marks here, eight data sheets, seven, I'm sorry, data sheets for locations in Minnesota in the southwest, the southeast, the central, the northwest, the northeast part of the state. So there's the latitude, longitude, the UTM, north and east, and the UTM zone, the state plane feet, and the state plane zone. I also have these split by their UTM zones. So there's all the points together and then by zones. And I've exported those using the tools for last week's data, XY events, and then exporting those to shape files and so there are shape files um, that are here for the UTM 16 north uh, 14 north and 15 north for Minnesota now the 15 north are split into NAD 8396 and NAD 83 which we know ARC treats the same but I'm separating them here so you can see the 16 15 and 14 points is just one point I'm sorry um, for the uh, UTM 16. So this is 16, 15, and 14. They decrease going to the west. And uh, I'll add the state boundary here, the county boundaries, to show. And then I'll also add the UTM zones here. I found online in uh, one of the Esri catalogs this, this LPAC, and I can just unpack it on top, and it'll show the zones here for the UTM location. So here I have zone 15, zone 16, and zone 14. So what I'd like you to do is take a look at these. And it's in the attribute table. There's the UTM northing and easting zone currently. What I'd like you to do is for the zone 16 and 14, project them into 15 coordinates. So first I need to project my data. So here I'm going to take the UTM 16 and 8083. Then there's no geometric transformation I'll do to the zone 15 coordinates. So I'm taking from the 16 coordinates to the 15 coordinates, and then I'll run the projection. And so now I have the 16 to 15 in NAD 83. I can open the attribute table and see, okay, I have the UTM northing and easting for the NAD 8316. Now I'm going to do a search, add geometry calculation. I'm going to calculate the X, Y, and Z oops, for the 16 to 15. And I'll go, the coordinate system will be this. So when it finishes, I can go ahead then and look at my output here. I can open the attribute table for this 16 to 15 transformation. And I can look at both the original coordinates, the UTM northing and easting for the zone 16 point. And then after it's been projected, I can take a look at the new coordinates. So the old coordinates there for the northing were about 530,000 and the easting were 300. The new X or easting is about 750,000. The northing didn't change that much. It's about 530. Now you'd expect the easting to change quite a lot because we go from the extreme west side of the zone to the extreme or actually outside the east side of the zone. When we're at 16, we're barely in the zone. And when I plot that point in zone 15, I'm a long ways from the origin, which is there past the west edge of the zone. And so that coordinate in the UTM 15 system should be much larger here, that 400,000 units larger. Whereas the northing doesn't change much. It changes a little bit because there's that convergence at the edges and we go from the left edge to past the right edge. So it's a little bit higher because it's converging a little more, but it really isn't that much different. So I'd like you to do the same thing for the zone 14 points also and note the shift and then reason or convince yourself that the shift is in the direction that you think it should be for this part of the exercise. So 
and then fill out the spreadsheet.